Ping Pike. Cruiser, custom cruisers. I've never seen that name before. I don't know I that one either. New. Let's says, see if we can talk to somebody and find out about it. Says they're raising the standard. Factory direct. Employee owned. We found Earl, one of the owners and founders of Hoosier Cruisers, and we want to find out how you got started, how, how you were doing this. Well, it's, I was retired for about three years and I had some of the employees that I used to work with at another company called me and said they would like to get together and talk to me about starting a new company. And they have the know-how and the ability to build motorhomes and had an idea of what we would like to do with a high quality uh, product and, and they wanted to be the owners of the company. They didn't want to work for somebody else any longer. So they, um, we talked it over and came up. Everybody kicked in a certain amount of money and, and everybody put their ideas on paper and this is the final product. So we, we wanted to have a few things like ducted air conditioning and I wanted something about 100 inches wide and I didn't want it to be over 10 feet tall and one of the guys said he wanted wood cabinets he, he liked that better than the vinyl covered styles and I told him you know we would check into that because I'm a woodworker I love love wood loved working with wood but I didn't know what the expense would be but we were able to work it into the budget so we've got Everything that everybody wanted in a coach is if they were building it for themselves. Is this your wife, Phil? This is my wife, Pat. Hi, Hi Pat. How I'm are you? Fine. How are you? So not only are you the wife of an RV manufacturer, you are the marketing department, <laughs> the tour director. Look at what... What you said, Earl, is the room in this thing, the space. It feels a lot, a lot bigger than open. it is. It's 28 feet and 5 inches bumper to bumper, but it feels much bigger than that. We're 6 foot 3 interior height here in the center, and we don't have the air conditioner hanging down because it's ducted. It's up high on the roof. What about the heat? The heat's ducted, ducted through, through the floor area yeah. through, through here. Oh, yeah, there's one right Look at the space right there. between the two chairs. We have a dog that likes to be right between us. Okay. We put extra insulation in here too so that doesn't get as hot and it's quieter too. Oh, that's we use awesome. this Space Age foil backed insulation and we put that down on the floor before we put the carpet down in the cab area. I am I really like this, Mr. Mike. Yeah, I do too. And I, I like, do too. I like all the seating like surfaces it. are real cowhide leather. We even had our logo embossed in the back of the seats. What about your batteries? We Right now we have uh, Deep Cycle Marine batteries, standard 212 volts, but we could also do AGM batteries or lithium batteries for an upcharge. And this uh, what about um, the roof for solar? We have two solar panels on this now. They're 150 watts each, so 300 watts of solar is included in the price. And you could upgrade it too if you If want. there's room on the roof to put more, we can put more on. Yeah. The inverter? The inverter is a 2,000 watt Zamtrax pure cycle. Yeah. But it all could be upfitted for a little bit more off the grid power. And sure. Yeah. So the sofa. The sofa, I'll show you how that works. <laughs> so this opens up like this. And if you want it to be closer to the seat, you release that and it can get closer. And then you can use this as just a recliner. Put your feet up. And if you want it for a bed, you put it all the way down for a bed. And both sides do this. And there's a filler piece to go in the middle here, so it's all, all filled in. And this is memory foam. It's nice and comfortable. I, I love the name. This would be good even for like four guys going to Lake Erie or Lake Michigan fishing or an ocean fishing or whatever. Two could sleep here and then you got the twin beds for, for two back there. Or grandkids. Or grandkids.
do know that I absolutely oh, love this. Here. You absolutely love this? I love this. I like the memory foam, the comfortable cushions, <laughs> the good leather, not plastic. And then we have this countertop extension here so you can still get around it for food preparation. It goes up and down easily. Nice big sinks. This is not going to break. This is durable. Yeah, that's residential style. I like residential style. We have a phone charger built here, so you just set it on there, charge your phone. How about wintertime use? The holding, the holding tanks are heated and insulated, and all the fresh water system is above the floor. So as long as the furnace is on and the water heater is turned on, then the fresh water system is safe. Your valves are still exposed, so if it gets down to zero, it's probably going to freeze. Yeah. But down to 20 degrees or something like that, you're going to be okay. I need to let it go. That's okay. I mean, look at this. What a nice little touch. Yeah, you too. And okay, a real show shower head. I mean, a nice shower head. Wow, that's nice. It's working its way forward. Privacy door. I like that. Uh, we're gonna get wow, this is really great. How this works. Two beds. Two beds, <laughs> two single beds. That's very yeah, nice. That food. Here, I hope you brought your own. Oh, Look right. how much room there is in this. It's a Ford E450. That's an Econoline chassis. This is the new engine. It's the 5. Point, or 7.3 liter. I've heard people calling it the Godzilla engine. Uh, it's uh, 340 horsepower, 475 pounds of torque and six-speed transmission, it, it delivers a great payload, and it's a very strong chassis. We put sumo springs on this front and rear, and it handles and drives just like an SUV. This is technically a C, but it's, yeah, uh, it's the, the a B only, plus, they call it. Right, we call it a B plus. The only difference between this and a C is we don't have the cab over the big cab over right so right. we're more streamlined more aerodynamic uh, with the front cap design we designed the front cap even so that it would kind of match the lines on the hood uh, now you guys are factory direct we're factory we direct. no dealers no dealers we build them in the rv capital of the world elkhart that's right uh you sleep how many people this will sleep four people the sofa makes a bed that's uh, 54 inches by 74 inches, and we have two twin beds. They're 34 inches wide. One of the beds is 72 inches long. The other one's 74 inches long. And how many seat belts? There are four seat belts, so you have seat belt for everybody that sleeps. That is awesome. And an automatic awning? Or automatic we... awning. It works on the remote control or you have an outside button there you can push, or you can go inside and bring the awning out. And as you see, we have the LED lights in the awning, and we also have speakers here for Bluetooth. So if now, you have music on your in phone. Your, in your name, it's Hoosier Custom Cruiser. So uh, do you work real closely then to customize these for the Yeah, uh, we clients? expect to do some custom work. Um, if you want extra shelving or you want something a little different on the inside, we can do that. Um, I was talking to another gentleman that needs a longer bed. We can work out to make a longer bed with the same footprint or we can stretch the whole coach out another six inches and make, make both beds bigger. So we're very versatile in what we can do because we are small. Um, it'd be real easy to have a corporate meeting. I just have to make a couple <laughs> phone calls. And uh, what is the base starting price? Well, there is no chicken. Uh, no I look and see the exact <laughs> options. <laughs> yes, there will be. Um, it's in the 130s. Um, wow. This, so you're very... This as equipped is, very... is 150, and that's pretty well loaded. Well, 150, uh, we're here obviously at the Tampa RV Super Show. That puts you about fifty thousand more than uh, uh, fifty thousand less than uh, many of the so-called high-end uh, B's and C's. That's so great. that's a pretty good price. How do you keep that down? Because you don't have the distribution. Well, and so far, none of the guys have been paid. None of the guys have got. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that'll do that. We're working for free. When we started this company, I told them. I said, you might have to work on this for a year or two before you're going to see a paycheck, so you may have to go get another job, because they were gung-ho about doing this, and I was comfortably retired, 
<laughs> so I wanted to give them all the objections I could think of, and they still wanted to go forward with it. And I said, well, if you really want to do it, we'll do it. So they're, the, the labor is very cheap. It's free right now. <laughs> Gotta uh, have a building. But yeah, we have releasing a building. Um, so our expenses are very low. And while we probably deserve a higher price, we're profitable at this. We're not greedy. Most of the guys, you know, they're not big corporation people. They they, they make a decent So living. you don't have a 50 person marketing department and right. regional sales guys and uh, having to transport these to dealerships. You've got all those overhead costs that the other manufacturers have are gone. You order this from you and you come to Elkhart and pick it up. That's right. That's we, right. We might have to move to Indiana so we can ride around in a Hooser cruiser. I kind of like that. The Hooser <laughs> Custom Hoosier Cruiser. Custom cruiser. So um, we can offer a lot more for the dollar than the other people can just because we don't need to make as much money. So Earl, I, I take it a lot of people wanted out of the RV business that they were in basically because they want quality. And that makes me think that in the uh, existing RV market, there's a lot of things in many of them. They just are skimped on. There's a lot of skimping. It's tough right now because of the labor market. Uh, they have a lot of new people coming and going, and they'll go across town to another place if they offer them 50 cents more an hour. So there's no loyalty where the place that I work, where these people came from, they had worked for the same man for since he started the business, some of them over 20 years. The new people were like five to 10 years. Yeah. Um, and that's really unheard of in the Elkhart area to have that kind of loyalty. But we have it and these people are hands-on. And um, like I say, they don't have to make millions of dollars. So how many owners are there at the company? 10 total. 10 total? And that, those are the guys who are making it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I yeah, do there's too. There's nine men and one woman. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, it's a neat looking unit. It well, really thank is. you very much. We love entrepreneurs, and especially entrepreneurs who believe in quality. Yeah, this is a really nice unit. And uh, it's a great story. Uh, a bunch of people in the RV industry who wanted to build quality, so they started their own company. Hey, we're Mike and Jennifer Wendland. From a very noisy Tampa RV Super Show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. When you do, click the bell icon. And then you'll be notified when we have new videos online. Happy trails.